Good afternoon. I am glad that the Senate has come to an agreement, and they need to act, and they need to act now. For over a week, House Republicans have worked with our colleagues in the Senate to put together a really bold relief package in this time of crisis. Now, unlike the financial crisis, this is not a result of fraudulent or irresponsible business practices. This is really a black swan event, I will say. And we'll do whatever we need for the American family, the worker, and the small business until we are on the other side of this. It is very important that we keep individuals in America in a job and in a paycheck. That will keep us stronger as we go through and battling this virus. So hopefully, we could come back with almost like a hockey stick approach in our economy and come back strong. This is so different than the financial crisis. These are not banks because they made, did something wrong. These are businesses that had to shut down for, uh, for government asking to combat and keep us healthier and safer. I don't believe we should pass a true $2 trillion package by unanimous consent. There is a way to do it by not having to have everybody here, but also allowing everybody to have a voice. I think we should have time for debate, but I also think it would be able to pass it by a voice vote. The unfortunate part of all of this is the delay for the last three days. There was no need for that. That was politics at its worst. I do believe a voice vote would allow people, you first have to have a debate and a time. Think of the size of the bill that you're asking members to vote on. They need to have their constituents have the ability to have their voice be heard, whether they're for it or against it, and why they stand where they do. Then if you have a, vo a vote, a UC does not give you a vote. A UC says it just passes. A voice vote allows you to have a vote. There are people who has a challenge to get here. Um, so it also gives them an opportunity to put across the desk where they stand on the bill and how they would have voted had they been able to be here. 